KDM for our start today's QMC2 front end for Main Emulator. If you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content that I release every day pretty much on my channel, just Jamie. That just means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide for a retro emulation system and it also helps out my channel too. So we're looking at QMC2 today and MAME. So I've covered MAME quite a bit in the past on my channel. Obviously MAME covers arcade games of the 80s and 90s and beyond. So it's a fairly simple setup guide today for this and it's gonna get you the very best MAME experience. So we're gonna to need to download a couple of things. So this is QMC2 and this is actually a fairly new release. Came out in 2022. And if we just scroll down, we're going to download QMC2 Win32 times 64. Just download by left clicking on the .exe just here. So as we can see, actually, April 29th, 2022. And this is the first release, actually, for a good few years. And it works fine with the latest main ROM set, which I'll be using in this setup guide. So once you've downloaded this executable, we're then going to go over to the main website and download the latest version of MAME, which is 0.263, 64-bit Windows binary. This is the MAME that we're gonna download for this. So again, just left click, and the links are gonna be in my description for this too. So I've already downloaded both of these, and here we go. So we got QMC2 just here, and we've got MAME. Now, MAME is pretty old school. This seven zip icon is pretty old school. <laughs> so we're gonna right click for a small on desktop, go to new, folder, and I'm gonna call this folder main. You can call this whatever you like. If I just drag in that exe into that main folder, from here, I'm gonna just extract it by right clicking. If I go down to WinRAR, I'm gonna to go to extract here. Okay, so now we've extracted main, what we're gonna do is just delete this .exe that we downloaded from the main website. We no longer need that one. Next thing we're going to need to do is actually install QMC2. So we're going to double left click. Windows protected your PC. If you should get this window pop up, go to more info, run anyway. We're just going to go through the setup process for this. So just press OK and obviously select the language that you desire. I'm going to go for English. OK. I accept the agreement, just go to next. Okay, so we're now on select destination location. This is where we want QMC2 to install to. So what I'm gonna do for this is actually create a new folder on my desktop, and I'm gonna go down to new folder, just so this is a little bit more accessible, and I'm gonna call this folder QMC2. Now, if you want this to install into your C drive program files times 86, then just leave this to default. If you want it to install elsewhere like I've just done, then we need to go to browse and we need to link this up to the folder I've just created. So it's gonna be users, Jamie, desktop, and I'm gonna just find that QMC2 folder and here we go. So okay, next, and next again and install. Okay, so installation is now finished. If we just press finish, in my QMC2 folder, I'm now gonna have a folder in your QMC2. This is all of our data just here. So this is very easy now to access, rather than it be hidden away in the C drive in program files. So we're actually gonna set this up. So if we just go down to QMC2 main.exe, double left click. So once we open up QMC2, we need to now pair this with main. So first of all, we're going to find emulator executable and it's asking us where this is. So obviously this is on my desktop in my main folder. So if I just select the folder just here, I'm going to just locate my desktop. So desktop and here's my main folder and right at the bottom, we're going to find main.exe. If we just left click and select that one, go to open. Next up, I'm gonna to go to ROM path. Now, this is where your games are stored. So these are on my external hard drive. So I'm gonna to go to my computer and select my external hard drive. 
and just go to choose and now my ROMs are now linked up with this and if you're using an older main ROM set then you're also going to want to set up your samples folder. I don't need this, what I'm going to do is now just go to OK. And as we can see, we're now inside a QMC2 front end. So what I'm going to do next is just launch a game and we can enter search string at the top. So for example, I can type into this search 1942, press enter, and this is going to bring up uh, different versions of the game 1942. So if I just select one of these and if I want to play it, I'm going to right click on it and go to play. Cool, so that's working fine. I'll just press escape on my keyboard to exit out of that game. Okay, so let's take a look at adding some images. So we're gonna notice on the sides of the screen just here, we got preview, uh, we got flyer and so on. So very easy to set this up. What we need to do is just go to the spanner here or the wrench, just left click on that. And if we select front ends from here, file directories. And if we just scroll down from file directories, we're gonna find preview directory, flyer directory, icon directory, cabinet directory. So this is gonna be all the directories of where our artwork is gonna be located. Okay, so this is Progetto Snaps and from Progetto Snaps, we can actually download some artwork and put it inside a QMC2. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is download icons. If I just go to icons on the side just here, full set, I'm gonna left click and we're gonna let this download. Okay, so once you've downloaded those icons, what we're going to do with the icons is just go over to the QMC2 folder, QMC2 folder again, and from here we're going to go into the data folder, and within the data folder you're going to find a subfolder here, ICO, ICO. And what we're going to do is just open up that icon zip folder, and I'm going to just copy the contents into that ICO folder. And here we go. So once this is now stored inside, what I'm gonna do is right click on that icons WinRAR archive and just extract it. Now be patient, this is gonna take some time. There's a lot in here to extract. Once that's finished extracting, if we go back to QMC2, the main root part of this, let's just open up QMC2 main again. Now we need to set these images, the icons, into place so QMC2 knows exactly where they are. So in my case, it's already done it automatically, but just to show you how to do this, we're gonna go up to that wrench at the top and front end file directories. And under icon directory, you literally just wanna leave this as data forward slash ico forward slash, just as it says, just there. And that's then gonna read from that directory like it's done for me. Uh, we can also add more artwork to this if you want, such as cabinet directory. And let's try this one out. So if we go back over to Brocato Snaps and go to cabinets. Now we've got several packs here to download for this. So we're going to start with full set one. And this is going to bring you to... We're just going to download this one. Then going to need to download the rest of these packs. So full set two. Download. Okay, so we downloaded all of those cabinet files and what we're going to do next with these is go into the QMC2 folder and this time we're going to go into the data folder and right at the top you're going to find cab and this is where those files are gonna go that we just downloaded. So if we pop those in there, now you're gonna find one archive file like I've got just here. 
And what we need to do is actually just extract the first archive. It says at the end 001. If I go down to WinRAR extract here, what this is going to do is extract everything there for us automatically. And as we can see, this is going to take around two, one and a half to two minutes. Next thing I'm going to do with this is just go inside and I'm going to press Ctrl and A just to copy everything just here. And if I come back out, I'm then going to right click and paste. Okay, so once that's finished extracting, if we come out and go back in, there we go. We've now extracted all of those pictures, .pngs. Just delete the cabinets folder. We no longer need that. And we're going to go back into QMC2 again. So we just scroll down and open up the application again. Okay, so once we're back inside of here, if we just go over to the top right panel just here, this little window, you're going to find tabs at the top. And if we just select a cabinet, for example, we can then start taking a look at particular cabinets. And here we go as an example. We've now got our cabinet artwork in place. And we've also got cabinet for this random lightning fighters Asian game and US game. And if we go to lethal weapon, we got lethal weapon pinball just there too. Now, if you don't see these, then just go up to the little tool at the top and under front end file directories, under cabinet directory, just make sure this is linked up. Otherwise, it's not going to display. Now, what we're going to do next is just press OK on this. OK, so we're going to head back over to Progretto Snaps and this time we're going to just download snapshots, which is going to give us preview shots of the games themselves. So just click on snapshots and I'm going to download the full set just here. Just download that. That's going to bring us back to Mega. So we're going to download here. And once you've downloaded this, as you can see, I've already done this. We're going to end up with a zip folder. We just open up that zip folder. You're going to get very similar to what the icons folder has. So what we're going to do with this is go to the QMC2 folder, QMC2 again, data folder, and we're just going to scroll down to the PRV folder this time. And this is where you can extract the contents of this snap. So you're going to want to drag and drop everything over into this PRV folder. Like you can see, I've already done this. And once that's in there, just make sure to extract the snap archive just here so we can get all the contents all the .png images out uh, once you've done that what we need to do then is go back into QMC2 and as you can see I've got this in place already now if you don't see the preview shots of your games what you need to do is set this up by going to the wrench front end files directory and under preview directory just here, you just need to link this up to where you just put the screenshots of the games. So just go to the folder and then just locate where you've actually put those images. So in my case, it was in users, name of my computer folder is Jamie, desktop, uh, QMC2 folder, QMC2, data, and course it was in my PRV folder so that's what I done I just went to choose and okay that now if I search for a game at the top just here say Robocop for example great arcades game if I then click on my Robocop games as you can see I've now got images of the gameplay itself very cool and if I say for example type in uh, another classic arcades game 1942 I've then got the images too of my 1942 game and the same on for say Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And here we go, very cool stuff. So that's easily put in place and that's gonna bring your games to life rather than just having a blank Ghostbusters image. You can actually see what you're about to play. And if you want to download any more artwork for say flyers for example, then generally those images those .pngs that you can download from Progretto Snaps, go into these folders. 
If we actually go into one of these folders, let's just say BDO at the bottom, each one of these folders contains a text document. If we just open one of these up, it will actually tell you inside of each folder what this folder is designed for and why it's there. So for example, if you want video snapshots, then download the video snapshots. And so they will then go into that data video folder. And the same for something like fly. If we go in there, open up text document, it will then tell us that this is where you can store your flyer images for your arcade main games. Now, if we open up QMC2 again, we got another cool feature here. Now, you've got a lot of games in your main ROM set. Now, let me show you something really cool we can do with this. I just type in, say, Pac-Man, for example. And say I wanted to add this particular game to my favorites list. All I need to do is right click on it and just go to favorites. Now we've got a favorites tab at the top. And as we can see, my Pac-Man game is now stored in here. And we can do this on and on if we want. So uh, one of my favorite games, uh, say Robocop. I'm gonna choose Robocop World Revision 4. Again, if I just right click on that and add it to favorites, it's now in my favorites. So I no longer need to search and search and search for that game that I wanna play. And that's it for today's QMC2 front end emulator for me. So as we can see through the video, there's lots of going backwards and forwards to progress snaps to get your images and setting up your image directories. But it's worthwhile if you're into arcades gaming. And as you can see in the video, games run really well. Just remember, if you need to set up your controllers or anything like that video settings, once you've got a game open in main, just press your tab button and that will get you a menu where you can configure controllers, that type of thing. So anyways, if you're new to my channel, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content that I release pretty much every day on my channel. Also join me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. And just let me remind you, I also got merch available and I'm going to be adding some new designs of my own again. So anyways, until next time, stay retro.